So today I'm here with uh, Anthony. Anthony, how old are you? Um, I'm 25 years old, man. Anthony, uh, how long have you been out here homeless in Phoenix? Um, they about, I was like 16 years old. <laughs> Living in the projects. Living in the projects? Hell yeah. And uh, are you out here doing blues? Hell yeah. How long you been doing blues, Anthony? Um, uh, since, uh, since, I was, since I was a kid. No, the, the blues started like new shit, new shit. With, 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 with Chinese and the cartels, but the cartels killed Chinese people. So we're killing all the Chinese people, like, like, like the dragon, all that. Like That's where they go to Mexico and we, we, we control it. I mean, and the blacks go there too and they have respect. Like, we're sorry about that. But all well, the Mexicans were stronger than that. Okay, and uh, where where are, where are you from? Like, what side of Phoenix are you normally from? Uh, 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 I'm, from I'm from Prescott, man. You're from Prescott? Yeah. Wow. I was a kid out of Prescott. Was a little mountain, man. Okay. And how long have you been here in Phoenix? Uh, since I was a kid. No, no, since I was 16 years old. 16? My mind lost. I'm like, it's too easy, dog. How'd you lose your mind uh, from doing so, so many drugs all yeah, these years? Yeah. I, I made my own little tent when I was a kid. Like, I had to build my own little tent. I mean, like, like you go there by the, by the bus stop. I, I made it. I started when I was a kid. Just a box like that. I laid down. Like, leave me alone. You know what I mean? Have you tried to get help? Me? Yeah, have you tried to get yeah. help at all, Anthony? Oh, yeah. Help from where? Where have you gone to get help? Huh? Have you gone to try to get help like a treatment center, a homeless shelter? Yeah, hell yeah. And how did that go? Uh, a lot. A lot? Does your family know that you're out here, Anthony? No. No? You don't talk to your mom, your dad, yeah. your siblings? <clears throat> Do you talk to your family? No, I don't talk to my family. I don't know my family. They're near dead, bro. I lost my kids, I lost my, my, my brother, my sisters, their, their kids, my mom, all this love. You know what I mean? I got raised when I was born my dad, you know what I'm saying? My brother's dead, my, my last my other brother, I didn't care about my mom, the real one. I mean, but, oh, that so my brother's still alive, but fuck, you know what I mean? Because he never did shit for me, you know what I mean? Okay. I mean, all his family even dirt, dog, you know what I'm saying? So you, you mentioned you're a father? Ah, hell no. You don't have kids? I did. I wish I would not know. I mean? Okay. I mean, I did. I'll cry. I mean, I'll believe like I was a kid. I mean? Hide your beard, dude. There's a cop behind you. Hide your beard. There's a cop behind you. Oh? Uh, <laughs> the cop just passed right next to you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you can't have an open container out in public. Uh, so, um, how do you stay safe, Anthony, with... Uh, I was going to be like this, bro, when I was a kid. You what? Like, 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 like Michael and Jason killing all my family. When you were younger, you wanted to be like uh, Jason and Michael Myers? Oh, yeah. Did you say kill all your family? Oh, yeah. Why? I don't know. You didn't, have a, you didn't have a good relationship with your family growing up? Yeah. Why do you think that? Why, why was that? What happened? I don't know. Just family dynamics? Yeah. Dysfunctional family? Is that some people call it dysfunctional family? Is that what happened to you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I noticed a lot of you got some tattoos. Um, what do what's the significance of your tattoos? Do, do they mean something? Yeah. Like the one right here on your chin. What does that mean right there on your throat? I don't know. You don't know. What uh, what do you do to stay cool? It's uh, it's gonna be a hundred and some degrees today. Uh, it was a hundred and fifteen degrees recently. How do you stay cool out here when it's so hot, Anthony? I don't know. You don't know? Uh, when I was a kid, my pop, I, I, I already had horns. You already had what? Horns. You know what I'm saying? Horns? Hell yeah. I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I started when I was like 14 years old. I did my, my own self. Oh, you did uh, your own tattoos? Yeah, but like for what though, you know what I mean? I mean, a while like the beast, I look for the enemy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. 
So you, you're like a, you're kind of like a tattoo artist, would you say? Are yeah. you a tattoo artist? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. What um? Yeah. What advice do you have for uh, young people that are out here? There's a lot of young people out here, Anthony. I've seen 13 year olds, 14, 15 year olds out here. Like you wouldn't want that for your siblings, right? If you had kids, you wouldn't want them to be out here. What advice do you have for them? Uh, a lot of advice. Stay away from drugs. Just see your parents. If you didn't have parents, if you're if you're a, a foster parent, learn from them. You know what I'm saying? Go to school and and, and don't, be, don't believe God or Satan or nobody. Just believe in yourself, and maybe you can meet them in the future. You know what I'm saying? You can be God or Satan yourself. You know what I'm saying? Or you can teach them to be either one. <laughs> hey. I check all the youngsters out here, don't you know what I'm saying? You do what? I check all the youngsters out here. Okay. You talk to them? Hell yeah. They listen to you because you're older? Hell yeah. What advice do you have for like parents? Uh, like, you know, mom and dad, they have a youngster that's kind of rebelling. What advice would you give to a parent? My parents, like, you know what? Just like, I love you guys, you know what I mean? Excuse me, I don't know you guys. But I wish I had a family that I kind of I like, you know what I mean? So Anthony, what does your future look like? What What do you want your future to be in the next three to six months? Where will you be? What will you be doing? Huh? In the next three to six months. I don't. I don't know what time I'm. I could probably be dead, alive. Shit, who knows? Nobody can predict. Not even God. Nobody can. You know what I mean? I'd be. I'd be dead, alive right now. I'm probably dead right now. You feel me? The life. I cry for the kids on the street. And we, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We got two of them up there living with two uh, uh, monkey like that. I don't care, though. You don't care? I don't know about life, you know what I'm saying? Why is that? What? I don't know. I'm Jason. I'm going to be like Jason. You're going to be like Jason? Yeah, but I can't be two on uh, two my mother or Jason. It's like one or the other. But Jason. And uh, Anthony, what um, where where are you going today? What are your plans today, Anthony? I don't know, man. I got plans. Let's go. To no plans at beer, all. Drink my beer. Drink my beer. See if uh, I don't know. I don't know. Shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me imagine that. Uh, Anthony, uh, what do you think about like uh, when the women that are out here by themselves? Uh, do you try to help them as well, as far as as far as just uh, watching out for them, protect them a little bit? Yeah. Uh. Because there's a lot of you know people that have bad intentions. You know what what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Because you mentioned earlier that a lot of the young people, a lot of the young guys, listen to you. So what about um, what about the women out here that are by themselves out here on the street? Do you try to help them as well to protect them? Yeah. Yeah. You try to help them a little bit, Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever uh, been diagnosed with any like mental health issues at all? Uh, no. Okay. If you ever wanted to ride to like a treatment center or a shelter, would you ever go? Yeah. You would? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna give you uh, my card with my number. Hey, can you oh, you know what? At the Warren Street, there's, there's actually a halfway house meeting. I mean. 
I got beer at, at, at what time is it, bro? I got to throw, throw this beer away. It's like 11. 11? I got beer about by, by uh, 2 o'clock, and it, it's, 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 it's called a uh, hat. It's called a Copper Spring or Halfway House. Copper Spring. They drive by, they drive by, and they look for like, because a lot of the homeless people were, were smoking that blues, and they want to go like, hey, who wants to change life? Who wants to come hop in the truck and we'll, we'll take you to band, bro? I'll probably throw this beer away, or, I mean, drink it or yeah absolutely um absolutely so what time do you have to be there huh? at what time at two o'clock at two o'clock yeah bro. okay um yeah definitely um any last words any last words that you'd like to mention if if friends or family sees this video would you like to tell them anything anthony Okay. Okay, well, uh, Anthony, please stay safe. It was really nice talking to you. Take care of yourself, and uh, we'll talk soon, okay? Best of luck, Anthony.